<laughs> Greetings, YouTube land, or should I say, Mondeo land. Hey, guess what, everybody? You've heard of Charlie's Angels. These three are Steve's car sales angels. Here's the beautiful Monica, who needs no introduction. My, <laughs> my alcoholic friend. <laughs> Next to Monica, we have the beautiful Ryanan. <laughs> Her technical ability would make your mind spin so fast, you wouldn't know what day of the week you're in. And finally, we have the fantastic Miss Amy. Dare you venture onto the used car sales pitch. <laughs> She'll strap you up and take all the money out of your pockets and sell you a car quicker than you can say Jack Robinson. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching. What we decided to do this year, by the way, I just want to let you meet the team, the Steve's Taxis team, or Steve's Car Sales team. So here they all are. We're gonna make a little video this year all we're going to do is put all of our funny little bits, office scenes, all together in one big compilation, which actually was a bit too long. So we decided to put it into two, part one and part two. So I hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a like. And by the way, that's all there is about to say. So I'm just going to say Merry Christmas, everybody. Take care out there. We're all having a good party in here. So cheers, everybody. Merry Christmas. Woo! The trash can. Mate, you're making me claustrophobic. I can't breathe. Can you shift back a little bit? Oops. I've just changed the headlight bulb. done some work on the taxis <laughs> instead of filming, you'd be alright. Yeah, that's it. Just bounce the corner. I got a better piece. Bummer. <laughs> It's a nice warm day and I'm going outside. But you know, I have to admit, the Mark V Mondeo, she's pretty damn hot. Happy days, bye. So I guess you can all take your injectors out and hey, change them. Hey, Alan, I made you a cup of tea. Thank you, boss. You're See, what a nice, kind, considerate boss I have. Well, I have to keep the luckies motivated. Bye. You see, this lady behind me can't even tell that I smell worse than a bull's nutsack. Winner. Oh my God, take a shower. Hey Monica, I bet you enjoyed that ride, didn't you? Well, you know Alan, I drove better. You don't fancy a bit of transit then? No, I prefer my trusty Fiesta. <laughs> I'll take that as a maybe. Hello service. Hi, I have a warranty issue on my Mark V Mondeo. Yes sir, can you tell me a problem with the car then? Yes, I believe my water pump is leaking really badly. I was just wondering when you could fit me in. Um, at the moment we've got a six week wait, sir. I need the car. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Well, I'm sorry, but I cannot get you any sooner. Ah, oh, for God's sake! Look, mate, don't get assy with me, alright? 
So what do I have to do to get my car fixed then? You need to wait in line, sir. You know what? Forget it. Yeah, I'm just at the garage now getting my car MOT'd. Okay, love you, bye. Hmm. Excuse me, you dropped your rubbish. Mate, you've dropped your rubbish. Huh? Mate, you've dropped your rubbish. Well, ain't you just an ignorant pig? They say ignorance is bliss. Well, wobba lubba dub dub. What's that noise? Morty! You locked me in the back of the van! Sorry? Hey Morty, fancy giving me a hand fitting this bulb? Hey Rick, why don't you stick that light where the sun don't shine? I've got better things to do. Well that's bloody charming. I'll move that there, like that. That's closer up. Hey Morty, what have we learned today then? Well Rick, You've proved once again that you can make a total fool of yourself. Well, gee, thanks for the compliment, Morty. OK, Morty, you finish the bloody video then. OK, folks, wubba lubba dub dub. How can I do you? Boy, my brake light don't work. That one up there. You know, I get it. How boring a brake light video must be. Ma'am, it's fixed. In actual fact, it was really easy. Well done. Here. Now go phone someone who gives a f Boy! Where is my copperboard? I have no idea. How the hell am I supposed to direct without my copperboard? <laughs> Get your shit together. to do with disappearing of my old boat. You know what? This guy, he took my dog for a walk and he lost my dog! And that's why he needs to be kept on a short leash. That's it. I'm going to nip this in a bat. Hello? Alan, can you come to the office please? Yeah, sure. On the way. Hi boss, what's up? You know what Alan? I know you had something with the disappearance of my old clapperboard, but thanks for this one. I like it. I actually bought you that clapperboard because I felt guilty because I lost your dog. Fair enough. So, are you ready to make today's video, sir? 
Ah. I've already made today's video, boss. So what you're saying is, you thought you can direct yourself. Okay, here's the deal. Go behind my back again, and I'll make sure you're gonna end up in dystopian prison with an only a straw to suck your dinner through. Or let me know what you're doing in the future, and I might decide to raise you up a few minimum wage. I'm just wondering if you'd like to present today's video? Sure, why not? <laughs> Action! Hello everybody. We've got the bloody clutch problem. You see, I can do his job blindfolded. <laughs> Everybody, one moment, please. Hello, workshop. Alan, office now. Morning, ma'am. You know you can call me Monica. I mean, thank you, boss. Sorry, Monica. I've been reading some comments on some of the videos. A few people would like to know your thoughts about Mark Freeman Dell. What do you think? I don't think anybody would give a shit what I think. Well, it's too late. Deal with it. I've just parked the car in the garage for you. Off you go. Hey Monica, what's that on your blouse? What? What's on my blouse? That, that little black thing. That's my new microphone, so I can capture a better audio. Any good is it? Well, it's better than what you're using. I too would like one of those. I'm not sure if you're responsible enough to operate such a high-tech equipment. So, you can take that as a no. Hey Monica, is that a new blouse you're wearing? Yes, it is. I love it. You look. Amazing. Your style is my inspiration. You know, Alan, kissing my ass cuts no ice with me. But, as you noticed my new blouse, I'll cut you a deal. You can use this mic for this video, but damage it or get oil on it. Not only will you not use it again, Alan, you'll also be looking for a new job. Is that clear? Thank you, Monica. You're a mate! Woohoo! Action! Hello everybody! Do you know why I keep this blind drawn? You see that iceberg over there? When the sun hits that van, it reflects through my window and blinds me. That's Alan's van. He doesn't look after it anymore. If I had a magic wand, I'd give it a new coat of paint. But you know what? It's the story that needs to be told. What the hell, Mary? I'm doing my best. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Take a break. Alan! Well, hello, Miss Monica. Lol. Two things. One, you need to make video on your van. Why? You owe it to that van before I have a scrapman to take it away. And two, when I get back from town, can I get my mic please before I end up with head injury? Right oh. Hello everybody. Oh. <laughs> Down a bit. Down a bit more. Now. <laughs> Action. Hello everybody. You know Mark V Mondeo headlights? Not very bright. I have made an executive decision to purchase LED bulbs. Maybe they will make the headlights brighter. All I need is now Alan to work his magic and fit them for me. 
Guess what? I have a little trick of my own. Watch this. Yo, Alan! Can you fit these boards in taxi, please? Let me know if they are any good. Okay. Well, have you fitted them yet? Are they any good? They are simply mwah. Good, now we can finish the video. So it's a goodbye from Alan. And it's goodbye from Monica. Bye! I have made an executive decision to purchase this LED bo bulbs. <laughs> bulbs. <laughs> well, have you fitted them yet? Are they any good? No. Too quick. I wasn't that quick. I was <laughs> counting to one to <laughs> Sorry? How much? Are you having a giraffe with me? You know what? Forget it. Here's the deal. We have Mark V Mondeo with that as doornail steering rack. £1,000 for a new rack. Do I look like I born tomorrow? I have a better plan. Your little steering rack fiasco. Oh yeah, did you find one? I ordered one from eBay. I just saved the company 750 pounds. I will put that towards my personal bonus. Cheers. Safety first. Yes. Action. Do you know we never had Mark V Mondeo failing taxi test with emission related issues? Hello, workshop. Alan, are you doing a talk on Mark V Mondeo Dieselgate? Yes, ma'am, I am on it. Well, hi, Miss M. Hey, do you like my. What? What? Like my what? Oh my god. You know, I like your t-shirt, Monica. So, where, where did you get your t-shirt from? Well, Red Bubble, obviously. And where did you get yours, Alan? Before you open your mouth and say something you regret, remember, I'm the efficient one here. So let's us finish the video now. Okay, folks, I get it. I'm the pollutant here. Bye. Bye. Alan. Are you doing talk on Mark Five Mondo these okay? <laughs> Action. What was that doing quick? Oh, once more. <laughs> Whoa, where are you going? Come back. To <laughs> In three, two, one. <laughs> Action! You would not believe our monthly Ford parts bill. Yo, Alan. Merry Christmas! You know, you should learn to control your affairs more effectively. Uh, am I missing something here? Why don't you try fixing the taxes rather than flinging expensive parts on them? And looking like a little bitch with slapped face, that's not nice with me. Damn it, it feels good to wind him up. Talk to the hand. Because the face ain't listening. Yeah! Action! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try fixing the taxes instead of putting very expensive ones? <laughs> Wait! Action! Package, how exciting! 
This is a pair of LED lamps for Alan's new video. Mmm! Does even Alan know what work is? Yo, Alan! Well, hello, Miss M. Here's your work lamps, Mr. Alan. Woohoo! LOL! <laughs> you know, one day I'd like to do normal. Yo! So, how's the world of office then? Well, it looks like they're all too busy to even bother talking. <sighs> okay, I know where I'm not wanted. Alan? Shut the door on your way out. Oh, what's this? Another broken car key. This is becoming a thing. Anyway, this is Alan's problem. Yo, Alan! Not now! Not now! You know what, mate? You need to be locked up. <laughs> What is it, Miss M? I've got a broken car key here. Can you fix it? Do I look like a bloody blacksmith? It's locksmith. Duh. Well, you know what? I don't particularly want to fix it. So you don't want to borrow the light mic, then? Oh! Uh, uh, okay. Give us the mic, give us the mic. I'll fix it. Woo! <laughs> See, if you want something done, all you have to do is to dangle that carrot. What's up, Miss M? If the battery is flat on the Mondeo, how do I get into it? Well, you would open it with the key, duh. Well, can you make a video on it because the driver asked me how? Well, that driver must be a bit of a dumbass then. Because everybody knows how to open a car door with the key. Can you just go and do it, please? Well, okay, but I don't get it. It just seems a bit pointless to me. Alan, you need to understand there's a chain of commands here. I'm the general and you're the lucky. Are you catching my drift? Yes, ma'am. Mary? Yes, Monica? Plus one, Mary. Yo, Mo! What, what is it? I'm busy. Uh, due to my insubordination in the previous video, can you put this key where it belongs? Well, give it here then. Actually, just out of interest, are you uh, right or left-handed? Well, I'm right-handed. Why? Oh, no, it's, it's nothing really. It's just that if you were left-handed, I was just going to ask you to take this key from me with your right hand. Look, you're not making no sense. Just tell me what to do. There's the key, Miss M. Where does that key go? In a trash can. Thank you. You see the crap I have to put up with. Hey, Moni! What? You know, Moni, I've just had a little thought. Your name is Monica. But, if I abbreviate your name a little bit, it could be Monique. And you know what? 
it's all sounding a little bit suspicious. So my question to you, is there something you should be telling me? What the hell are you talking about? Gee, do I have to spell it out? Are you French? No, I am not. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Just remember, don't get sloppy. See ya. Do you know what? He's becoming more unhinged by the day. Well, hello there. My name's Alan. What's yours? It's Monica. Well, hey Monica, can you tell me if I can get an MOT test done here? Well, if you follow the road up, you'll find a scrapyard. Well, gee, thanks for your help, Monica. Be seeing ya. Okay, let's go! God damn, there's nothing like a beer first thing in the morning before having to face reality. Hang on a minute. Yeah! Monica, can you put this where it belongs? Cut! Afternoon, office people. Yay. Good news, office mouse. I can report I have your toilet component in my hand. Well, I'm glad because the workshop toilet is not a nice place. Ah, I'll have the cleaners look into it. Hey, by the way, how's the old uh, weightlifting going? Yeah, it's going good. Do you want to have a look? Hell yeah! Wow! Do you know what, Monty? That is super impressive. You know, back in the day, I used to do a bit of the old weightlifting myself. Really? Well, if you pop down to the gym later, you can have a go. Well, goodness gracious me, is that the time? Sorry, Monica, I must get on. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. No, I'm not filming this bit. <laughs> Friggin' yes! Come here, camera. Let's go. How's it going, non-alcoholic office woman? <laughs> How's it going, my alcoholic friend? It's going good. How's your day going? Well, to be honest with you, it's not going too great today. Things aren't quite working out. It's a little bit stressful. I was just wondering if you could uh, lend us one of your beers, you know, just take the edge off a little bit. You 
Oh me. You know what, Monty? You're an alcoholic's best friend. See ya. God damn, that's good. Don't worry, I've saved the beer. Jesus, look at that. You are standing here like you want something. No, I'm just saying good, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning ladies. Good morning. Oh my god, it is a lazy afternoon. Hmm, I've got an idea. Why do you have to be so annoying? Moni, I was born that way. you look like Mark Zuckerberg, try dressing up as an alien next time. Anyway, good morning. Gulag time! Yeah! Yo, Mo! What? Be a pal and pass us one of those isotonic juice drinks. Yo, money. <laughs> Payback. Can you have my fucking phone? Yo, money! What now? Well, you don't have a dog and bark yourself, do ya? What did you just say? No, I just said I was wondering if you'd give me a hand polishing something. How about you go and polish yourself now? Mrs. Monica? Do you know, I'm coming on with a right... Here. Gee, thanks. So, how the heck do you know that I've got a headache? Because you're so bloody predictable. There are people who have messaged me who are threatening to unsubscribe if you're not in each video. Well, you need to make sure I'm in each video then. So you're right. Predictability.
watch where you're going, mate. You need to look where you're going. <laughs> Would you mind holding this camera? No. Because I need a camera woman. Do you? Please. And I'm the best woman for the job. You certainly are. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh God. Da -da -da -da! I know I bully you into getting these videos done. But hey, we've had a lot of laughs along the way. True. Okay. Do you enjoy making videos? I've never asked you that, actually. No. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's a liar! Friday afternoon, there's no work, I'm taking it easy. Monday, I got Friday on my mind. Da, da, da. Gotta have fun at Steve's taxis. How's it going, Mo? Ugh. Fan-bloody-tastic. Not busy then. Does it bloody look like it? So what's happening with that taxi in a shed that's been there for the last three months? This is what I believe is faulty on this car. And you want to know why? <coughs> Obvious, really. Marxist-leading socialist created an insurgency on the vehicle's brain. Well, sorry, Diane, you've been routed. Now, feck off. Looking nice. Thanks. Head and shoulders. No. Hang on. <laughs> Just a little bit of dandruff. <laughs> so you're busy today, you've got much on. Have you fixed that clutch yet? I was waiting for you to say something silly like that. I can take a hint. <laughs> hey Al, got a coffee? All right, Shane, I didn't see you come in the door. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's have a coffee, mate. I'd feckin', <laughs> I'd feckin' love a coffee. <laughs> Let's get it started. White with, white with two sugars, mate. White with two sugars. <laughs> Consider it done, my boy. Consider it done. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that Shane, he's a good guy. He's Scottish, but we call him Irish. <laughs> the leprechaun. Marie. What? What is the one thing you should say at the end of a YouTube video? Goodbye. No, that is not the correct answer. What is the one fundamental thing you have to say at the end of a YouTube video? I don't know. Okay. Well, like, comment and subscribe, obviously. Holy shit! Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Um. He's bloody Scottish and he knows! I'm not going to put you in the trash can.
are you doing? I'm all right. Would you like a mince pie? Yeah, go on then. I've twisted my arm. There you go. What the hell, Alan? Oh, whoops. Silly me. No, I was just, uh, just offering you a mince pie, Monica, because as it is Christmas. Oh, thanks. Do you want to, do you want to kind of have a bite now? Give it a try? No, it's okay, I'll eat it later. No, really, you can have a bite now. I mean, don't feel embarrassed about eating in front of me. No, really, I will eat it later. Well, enjoy it. Ta-ra! See you, Marie. <laughs> this is freaking dangerous. Jesus Christ. That is one clutch master cylinder. That's what it should look like. Yeah. Oh, just one last thing. Bye. Whole bag full of prezzies. Well, we better go and give these to somebody then, better we? We've got to look the part. <laughs> Put the old Santa hat on. <laughs> What? Well, it's Christmas Eve. Problem is, I ain't received my gyro yet, so I'm a little bit short. Oh, gee, thanks. But don't worry. I've got these for, for your dog. <coughs> oh, hopefully be happy. So that's it. Merry Christmas, everyone. And Happy New Year. See ya! <laughs> Mrs. Monica. Yes. How are you doing? Not bad, thank you. I've got another one of them pesky oil life resets for you to do. You're just so lazy. I'll be there in a minute. Right, I'll toddle off back to the... Oh my god! Tell me to turn around. It's the bloody leprechaun. Hey, hey, where's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? F*** you. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> you, Alan. I'm leaving. <laughs> hey, come back. F*** <laughs> off. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know, why did they? To get to the other side! <laughs> oh, you know what, I didn't actually actually expect you to get that joke, being Czechoslovakian and all that. I'm Czech, yeah, I've got <laughs> nothing to do with Slovakian part. Czech, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, on my leaving note then, I've got another joke for you. Oh, did you hear about the aeroplane? I've heard about the helicopter, but not the aeroplane. No, don't worry, it'll probably go over your head anyway. <laughs> Hello Shane. How are you doing? Not too bad. Good time. Do you know what? I can't quite put my finger on it, but you look like a famous celebrity. Who the hell is it? That's it. Rory McGrath. You look like Rory McGrath. <laughs> well, you look like Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis? I'll tell you something. I can accept that. 
Just don't call me Carl Bloody Pinkington. <laughs> Jesus Christ, an Apple computer in this office. Marie, what the bloody hell is going on? Huh? I've oh, no idea. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. Fine. I'll tell you something. On, you'd have to get Reese. You'd have to get rid of that PC over there. <laughs> that, that, that health hazard. Before you electrocute yourself. <laughs> you, got, you ought to actually stop playing a bit. Stop modifying it. It's not me. <laughs> well, where's the side panel gone? Down there. That's what <laughs> certain viewers want to know. Oh, there it is. It's there. I'll have to find some. No, actually, I'll just put it in the bin. <laughs> Let's just, just buy an Apple computer and stop messing around. You give me the money and I'll buy it. <laughs> Mrs. Monica, do, do you want to know the one single reason I come in here? Why? Because something in that workshop smells really bad. <laughs> and that's the reason I come in the office, it smells nice in here. Hey! Hey! What the hell? What's that? What, what, what's that on your wrist? Apple Watch. Show us. The viewers all want to see it. Is, it, is that an Apple product? Yeah. When did, when did you get that? Today. Oh my god. It's like, it's like everyone in here it's gone apple crazy. <laughs> I, I can't work it out. Marie? What? What the hell? What? Have you got an apple? No. Ready? Yeah! Come on, you motherfucker! Get the fucking 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 get the the time for stupid questions. Well, that looks easy. Let me have a go. Whatever. <laughs> Everyone else is a bitch. Yay! There. Go knock yourself out. Good morning to ya. Time to put the rubbish out. Tonight, boys, we dine in hell. Dine on that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to start a fight. Hey, Monica. Love the red hair. Pucker. Social distancing. Stop flaunting the law. Ah, uh, sorry, Miss M. I tend to get a little bit forgetful now and again. Anyway, good morning, anyway. See ya. Yeah, good morning to you too. But keep your two meters, yeah? Don't land on him, honey! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Hey, what are you watching? Just some funny videos. And by the way, what's the bandage for? Tennis elbow? Well, I hope it's not catching. Holy shit, last of the Mark III interceptors. Hey boy, I think I got the headlight bulb out. Deal with that as well, yeah?
if you're wondering what the deal is here, that silver Mark III Mondeo has just been involved in a road traffic accident. It also happens to be Monica's pet. And then when we're done as well, yeah? Gee, thanks. Come on, chop chop. Yo! There you go, Molly. There's all your possessions out of that car. You know, I reckon it's for the best that's being scrapped because you know, yeah, there is definitely something not legal going on with you. Alan? Yeah? Knock, knock. Who's there? Smells of gunpowder. <laughs> Walk me up, you freaking idiot. They're all like part timers here. There. You see, I've only put sort of like Ferrero Rocher, my favourite. It's real. Oh my god, it's freaking. Taking a piss. Look at the flipping mess this has made. I get all the good jobs, me. Where's the birthday girl? Oh my god! What the heck? Look at the hair. It's like something out of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I, I actually quite like it. Thanks. It's pretty cool. What have you got down here? Balloons! It's definitely... What are you doing tonight? Are you out on the town having a party? Well, of course. <laughs> I'm a rebel, Alan. <laughs> I know. I don't care about lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think when, when my hair grows back, I'll get it just like yours. You should. <laughs> I might be in for a long wait though, but I'll tell you what, I don't want to be cheeky or nothing, but could I could I scaff one of your uh, Ferrero Rochers, please? Well, as long as it's not a Raphael or one, then yeah. But what what we support for choice? What should we go for? Oh, I'll go for a gold one. Go for the gold. Well, thank you very much, Miss M. You're welcome. Once again, happy birthday. Thank you. Don't get too drunk tonight. Ah, uh, can't promise that. <laughs> it's Friday. Marie, what? Wow. You work too hard. I know. Take a break. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew a bare cylinder head could flip in way so much. End of video.